Hey, Monday, Tuesday. Hey, don't discredit me, nigga. Yeah, that's amazing. Tell me if he wasn't doing it, but I was doing it. But right on cue live, and we are live, and niggas are progressing and growing in life, and you know, trying to be better. Absolutely. But back, but today we are we back to drinking and proving with evidence and receipts and historical precedent that women ain't shit. Once again, because I got the people from the original Avenues Chronicle episode. It said today, they not anonymous. <laughs> they not anonymous. <laughs> you know, once Sister Soldier couldn't make it today because she got, you know, Sister Soldier. The KKK story. came for her. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, we, we had to keep her off this one. She was kind of hot, whatever. But so, introduce yourself. Formerly known. Um, Master Chef and G Money, introduce yourself. You know, Formerly you- known as Master Chef. Mm-hmm. Back again. Yeah, back again. Um, really known as Jew. Mm. Streets. West Philly, right? You said born and raised. Philly, born and raised. Mm-hmm. Now, Nashville, old now South Philly. But yeah, West Philly, born mm-hmm. and raised Jew. All right. Formerly known G Money. G Money. With the troops. <laughs> um, known as G. G, okay. Well, yeah. Push up. Push up. Oh, yeah. just and oh, yeah. also, Ant Dollars from his episode, he wasn't on that one. He was on Venn uh, Diagram. Venn Diagram. Shanti Room. How you know you're on the on, uh, no, episode? On that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> fan of the show. Fan of the show. Yeah, but Ant Moore. 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 Ant Moore
both sides definitely have shape. But I do, my whole point, like Q was pointing out, my whole point is that it's a whole misconception. It's a whole misconception of, um, you know, I feel like a lot of us men are brought up by women doing their best and doing a very good job. But the misconception is that, you know, your dad, your uncle, your brother, um, they do this wrong, they do that wrong, they do that, you know, they do all these things wrong. And the woman or the women around you, your aunts, your sisters and everything, they holding it down, they, they so strong, they so this, they so that. And, you know, I know me personally and a lot of um, guys I came up with, that was what, you know, that's how we were taught. That's how we were kind of almost, you know, it's kind of drastic, but brainwashed to think that, you know, your grandfather, he wants a pair of shoes, a new pair of shoes before he takes care of his kids. But little did I know, my grandmother, who I love to death, you know, she gave him hell on top of that. I mean, I would see this. I would think growing up, far as men are are told not to show their emotions. Mm -hmm. So I won't. I don't know. I mean, only you know your, your background. Mm -hmm. I would basically say that more so. A lot of women kind of teach you you can't show your emotions. You know, more so even if dad to, 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 to boys and even their own father teach their boys be sometimes man, to be a man, man yeah, chalk it up, true. you know, man up. You can't, you know, so. You think I there's think, something to that? Cause you know, we in this day and age of the millennia where, you know, we're trying to do away with a lot of those old sentiments and ideologies. I told you. And, you know, I was raised like that. You know, my mom infamously says, it. if it ain't bleeding, it ain't hurting. If it isn't, mm. it ain't bleeding that much, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you good. Either way. Yeah. <laughs> like, that'd be some real shit going on for me to be like, hurt. Well, that's but, the thing. But I think there is, you know, we ain't just, you know, you can try to, in the perfect world, things be so weird, but we're not in the perfect world. So I feel it's kind of. In certain time, I think it's kind of unrealistic to try to put, but then they will argue, say, like, well, how are we going to be in a perfect world if we don't start now? Mm -hmm. I was like, nigga, I don't even put the day, kind of, right. and I well, don't I want think, my son to be a I bitch. Because there is a such thing as a bitch-ass man. But he can't so, show his emotion? You can show emotion, but there is a, le a certain level and line where you just bitch him, nigga. Well, what, <laughs> right. well, what, what does it? Yeah. See, I, I just know it when I see it. Okay. My, my thing is, there, it's like, men can show emotion. You like, have, you have... Again, but they are told we're, moving, to we're moving into a time where it's like guys, it's more okay to show emotion and stuff definitely, like that. Definitely. But you gotta realize where it came from in the past is the same thing where it's like you have women that like they'll tell their son, their four or five year old son, yo, stop crying, stop acting like a little girl, or whatever. Yeah. Right. And it's like, but then they go out on a date and wonder why can't these men be emotionally available? It's like you, you, really you come. perpetuating that to. Your son. And that's part of what I'm saying. Like, we're raised to think, um, you know, women are so soft and delicate and honest and trustworthy, and men are not. Well, I mean, see, the thing is, and like, you like. Men, the man's supposed to be the breadwinner. The man's supposed to go out and work. Is that what you're saying? He's supposed to be strong. He's supposed to be supportive. He's not supposed to show his emotion. Men no, he's saying emotion. that they ain't shit. I'm not, but but I don't then know on the same tip, like, on, wow. on the same tip, on the same tip, do I'm not saying what I'm saying is me growing up. Honestly, a lot of people, my, I haven't seen a lot of men, but I never heard no one kind of bashing a man. When but we have boys, but, we have young boys that you do hear, and even not even in my family, all over, you hear. You gotta man up, or you gotta do this, or you kind of real more hard. Exactly, yeah. you're showing tough love to a male, to a young boy versus a girl. But I think, but I think that plays into it though. Like you said, you didn't see a lot of men around. It's like what you were saying about like grandmothers, like aunts and everything, but your grandpa ain't shit and all that. And it's like. I, my grandpa wasn't around to tell his side of the story mm -hmm. because he Absolutely. cheated on my grandma and Absolutely. had more kids you only heard with a woman side. with the same name as my grandma and then moved like seven blocks away. So he was consistent with the name. Yo, mm -hmm. but, <laughs> that's, my guy, that's, the but, right but that's the thing. So it's like, 
I can't I can't say shit. that narrative ain't right when it's like he not there to tell his side of the story. Absolutely. And why aren't you there to tell your side of the story? Because yeah, you, I, you wasn't not, shit in that. In yeah, that so moment. even though I started the conversation, I will say I'm not rolling with Uncle Joe. Like, yes, people people ain't shit. But again, people I do shit. believe there is like we just had to, if there's some way to have a worldwide history accountability of just ain't shit behaviors it's and things like that. Of ain't shit, man. Maybe even if it's, if it's slightly, but I think, or it could just be in different ways. But I think somehow men just, you know, we pass the women somehow or whatever. Like, and I think a lot of times women do certain shit. Like, it's like, he said his grandma, you can say his grandma, like, damn, why she did, why she was shitting on you? She may be lying by a lot of shit. No, but that's the thing, like, my grandma but, never even shitted on her. Okay, cool, but, but let's like, say a lot of women do do that, though. But you can say it all started, in theory, with him leaving and fucking with another mm-hmm. girl down seven blocks away and... You know, like that, it started with him. Mm-hmm. So her in response was maybe ancient behavior, like saying, like, "Well, he did like not giving him no credit. Yeah. Like he did one thing that don't take that don't take away from everything he ever yeah. did. I think women do that all the time. They get carried away and be like, "This nigga ain't shit across the board." Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No matter what, what but that's not right. But I yeah. think it's also a reason that that narrative can be pushed more from the woman's side because. There isn't a man there to give his narrative because he wasn't oh, shit. Like he, so, it's like it's like, a, it's like it's like I always <laughs> feel like everybody hears the woman's story. Mm-hmm. Because, 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 because the man, man would, ain't there to tell the story. And because that we're not there, or, we just don't vocalize exactly, it the so way women do. My point. Women write that's books. That's because you guys were raised songs. to be strong and to be hard. When we so, write a book, you know, we, we bitch ass niggas. Oh, point. he bitching about it. Or that? you post something on Facebook, on Facebook. Or, or social media. A chick oh, a, a post a, make a Facebook post or Instagram post about their breakup and they and they get a whole bunch of comments of, oh my God, he did that too. Actually, it's three sides. Mm-hmm. A guy posts that same post. This nigga bitching. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. what the fuck, bro? Oh, oh, the, 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 what, the, my, one of my favorite examples of like just hypocritical women on logic. Ew, and she's like, I saw it today on some some girl post or page or whatever. She was like, when a nigga, uh, when you ask a nigga for money and he respond for what? And she's like, oh, so you broke, bro. It's like, bitch, you asking <laughs> me for money. Like, <laughs> how am I the broke one? Like, I'm like, the one with the money <laughs> that you asking maybe for. Maybe in her mind, she felt like he was supposed to be the bread. What if he was supposed to be supportive? Newsflash, ladies. But that's if this saying. nigga didn't birth you, I, I if, he did, if that ain't your dad, he don't owe you shit. I, I at the end of the day, for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Like, and spe- like, he can at least be your boyfriend. These bitches be expecting shit from niggas that just fuck one time yeah, or he ain't fuck don't yet. Don't, don't even, don't like, even like, DM me if I ain't get a notification from the cash app. Like, oh, wow. Yeah, real. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That's my number. Why I ask for my cash app, nigga. Yeah, like, like, wow. They're like, the, the entitlement is oh, wow. increasing. Like, I believe oh, wow. it. I believe it. They, ca- it the I cash app, John, is in their bio or their social media. It's like, Seriously? hit that shit. Like, But you call me a prostitute. That's why I'm talking about. Like, I, I'm not on social media. Like you, real, you real rap like G money. Yo, yo somebody send me five dollars for lunch you, today. You have several pages on social media. Don't do that. She got connects. She got connects. She got them. Kind of the red burners. Don't do that. I do not have social media. Okay, but moving on. Okay, you know, we, we brought up the grandparents. So on that note, so you know, uh, all you guys have kids. I'm blessed to not. But <laughs> we are blessed too. <laughs> yes. Y'all slipped up a few times. <laughs> no, but like, so, it, you no, know, looking at it now, or like when you first had a kid, was it like a thing in your mind where you're like, I want me better than my parents, or certain things I definitely don't want to do my parents did? I think is, it a, is it a conscious thing, or is it like. I think yeah. everybody goes, I, from the best parents, people that had the best parents, and people that had the worst parents, mm-hmm. I think everybody wants to be better than. Their parents. I think that's just a. Hmm. I, I, I agree. Yeah. Like, I think that's what, just a common. So thing. I know then what's some of the things that y'all knew y'all just didn't want to necessarily pass down, whether it's like tendencies, characteristics, uh, ideologies, anything on that well, I got a shitload. I got a lot. Well, my thing is, my mom, my mom is a great mom. How much time we got on this episode? <laughs> my mom is a great mom. I won't take that from her. Mm-hmm. Um, the only thing that I did differently. Shout out to the great mom. Shout out to like mom. Shout out to the great mom. Absolutely. To the queen. Oh, you take another sip of your first shot, Jima? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. She really sipped it. Oh, my God. I'll sip through the rest of the night. Uh huh. But the thing about my mom, 
Mm. The only difference is my mom had two children and she couldn't give us everything. So we didn't have the name brand things or we couldn't do. She couldn't afford it. Mm-hmm. But me, my mom only had two children. Yeah, me and my brother. And she was a single parent. I would say a single woman, I would say. Only because my brother, dad, dad was there for him. My my dad, my dad wasn't, mm-hmm. you know, at the time. So on that note, I won't say she was a single mom because she still had my brother's, yeah. right. my brother's, um, I don't even know the difference. Yeah. Or they want to admit that's the difference. Point. So, that's a good. That's a very good point. Um, some women are not single moms, and they, they just, yeah, just like a, a single badge. woman. That she was a single woman. Shout out to Lean. I gave her so much credit my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> my mom a single mom. She do this. Like, yeah, yeah, my, my dad. Shout out to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> me and my wife the whole time. Yeah. So me, I kind of give my children what they deserve. That's the thing. So we had like my children. They go. They want for nothing. So I give them. What they need. If we asked them that, would they say that? Yes, they would. Well, what do you know? <laughs> <laughs> You're number one. We didn't have, like, growing up, we didn't have, I didn't have a TV. Mm-hmm. I only had the radio. That's why I love music so much. I only had the radio. There was certain things the that 40s. these children have. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was shame. Yeah, see? Listen, it's a talkie box. It's a track and I only had the radio. Shout out no. to the power. No, my, my, no this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. In the living room, it was a TV with cable. Know, my know. parents' room was TV and cable. Kids, no, we ain't having none of that. But every, every, room in my house has a TV, has some type of something Talk in it. Talk exactly. Talk. But the thing that's is, so. we, I mean, I just, I kind of, kind of spoil my children. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm able to. That's yeah. the thing. I have a husband. We're boss. able to. I'm not going to say just yeah, I. You just got a husband. Yeah. You got the Oh, I got the hey, You got to buy it. Shout out to Mike. Shout out to the king. Is this your king? <laughs> so, we are husband. able, we are able to, you know, get these children. What, what do y'all think? For, well, before he go into the rest of the episode, oh, yeah. what is, how about you, man? Dog? Um, so my situation was totally different. Like not married or whatever. My situation was freshman year of college, good friend. We didn't do nothing all year. Last weekend of spring semester, it's like er- almost everybody left. We up there, some shit go down. Mm-hmm. She wasn't even going to come back to the school, so I would have never saw her again yeah, if it wasn't break. for my daughter. So it was a totally different situation where it was like, I wasn't expecting this, wasn't, I was 19, I wasn't really looking for no kids or anything like that, but then also my biological dad wasn't really in my life. So I really didn't know any direction, I really really wasn't ready for it, but all I knew was I didn't want to put my daughter in that same situation. So I knew the, the very least I could do is make sure uh, I was in her life like I was still a college student no job so I wasn't sure how to support I actually had to leave college to help support her but it was a it's always been a learning process but my biggest thing is um, just trying to instill a sense of self-confidence in her and that I always always tell her there's only or I don't know y'all there's only two things that can stop you that's yourself and nothing Ooh, bars. <laughs> sure, I agree. So, Absolutely. and the, but it's in that order though. You got to get yourself out the way. Once you get out, once you get yourself out the way, nothing can stop you. Bars <laughs> again. <laughs> so, so it's like, so that's that's a big yeah, thing where it's future. like, <laughs> like, um, you know. And my mom always told me that I could do, you know, what I could, anything I wanted to do, but it just wasn't a plan. It wasn't like. This is how you do it. Mm-hmm. It was just like, oh, you you can do whatever you want to do. Now go do it. And it was like, well, I try to, now that I know what I know, I try to help my, my I had to Plan do some, way. yeah, some trial and error. So now I try to just help her better with her plan. Hope went that same way to go through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Shout out to Hope. All right, you know, so I think, quick summary. Right. No, real quick. So let me, ask, quick. let me ask, ask you something. Yeah. Do you consider yourself a single parent? No, because her mom is her mom is, is, it, is, okay. is a great mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so right. men don't uh, lie about stuff. Like I think that. only yeah. women do that. Yeah. Yeah. Not all women. Men don't. We didn't say it. Why? And, 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 and I'm not even saying. And I'm not even saying they lying. 
they, they just really believe they <laughs> that they want to go They really believe what I'm telling you. They believe that they're single moms. They're mixing their marital status in there. It's like, no, like you're not the only person taking yeah. care of this child, but... Right. Even if it's, but even if it, even if I, even if I wasn't married, and I had children, I would still say I'm a single woman. I wouldn't say I'm a single woman. mother yeah, yeah. because if he's supporting a child and he's doing his part, I'm not doing it by myself. I'm just a single Absolutely. woman. I'm not well, a I think parent. I think that's why there's the emergence of the the, the co-parenting. Like uh, people are using that word a lot more, where it's like, no, we're. I'm, I might be single, but we're co-parents, and like I might have more custody, but it's like I want to acknowledge the okay. fact that he has his Before parents. He said, yeah, yeah, he has yeah. both parents in his life. So, okay. oh, would you? So, um, to kind of playing off Ant is the, the biggest thing to me. Just to sum it up, the biggest thing to me with my children was I felt like. As coming up, I felt like I made a lot of major decisions alone, without adult guidance. So that was my biggest. That was my biggest thing with my children um, was not allowing them to make major decisions. Not making the decision for them, but being involved in those decisions, those life-changing decisions between the ages of 15 and, and 25 that totally alters your life, um, they didn't have to make those decisions on their own. And that's my, you know, that's my, that's my biggest thing as far as being a parent and the difference of my parents and being a parent. I think about myself, you know, you know eventually once I get trapped, and you will get trapped. You clean. I'm from the hood, ain't nobody no parent no hood. Hood. <laughs> You're different, right? You're different, Q, right? You right, I live in Chestnut Hill now. <laughs> if you don't stop changing it, you're right, I live in Chestnut Hill. Oh, no, we we plan to go up there. I don't know if the peasants do in Germantown. <laughs> you can't run those city lines, are you? are like a mile and a half outside of Chestnut Hill. I mean, it's really, like, it's really like 150 feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like I'm at the bottom of the hill. It's still the, it's still the hill, though. But I think about myself, and you know, I, you know, I always give, you know, all three of my parents, including my stepdad, you know, the crowd, I feel they did a great job, especially the strong black woman leaving. You know, she did what nobody else could, the strong black woman, you know, that shit, whatever. <laughs> but I, so if I had to think about myself, what I was just trying to change, it would just be, you know, mainly shot at the strong black queen, you know, but just like my reactions to things, you know. But, you know, because mm-hmm. she, you know, she loved me so much, she means so, you know, she means so, so well in my decisions. But she tends to overreact. <laughs> you know, everything is a ten reaction. Like mm-hmm. if I didn't answer my phone in ten minutes, I'm dead in the ditch, kidnapped, That's me. raped, and, I... and Austria. <laughs> <Yeah. and laughs> like, it's the worst possible <laughs> scenario. Like. <laughs> and I'm on crack. I got on crack, and that's how I. <laughs> that's how you got raped. Trying to sell yourself for crack. Sometimes you, somehow you took a mega bus to Austria. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, those yeah. reactions fall under me not picking that's up. That's funny. That's but funny, I though, because thing. I had the opposite. My mom was the opposite. Right, right. So I, I kind of wanted that, mm-hmm. you know, like, to come in, like, where were you? My grandmother was more, you know, she kind of raised me. My grandmother was more in tune, but my mom was the exact opposite right, right. of yeah, so I, I would never family. take it for granted, like, you know. Yeah. Especially when you're young. So Children, funny. you know, it, it's better to look back on it saying, damn, that was a lot versus saying, damn, I didn't have nothing. So, you know, I totally understand. Well, that's why they say, like, like, kids want structure because yeah. at the end of the day, they, definitely, mm-hmm. they don't know what to do. They so, don't. they need somebody to give I them agree. some purpose or some reason yeah. to do and something. And if you give them structure, they're able, I feel that's something my mom, you know, maybe she had a little issue with where, like, you know, she gave me so much structure, which was needed, you know, as a parent and child, healthy relationship, whatever. Okay. But once it was time to give me leeway, that once time went on, she had issues with that. Because, you know, mm-hmm. she's a strong personality. She raised me to be a strong personality. And she had issues with those energies combating. So okay. it was like, nah, nigga, like, <laughs> you're going here because I need you to go here. It's like, you know, but, you know, we grew. And that's so I was thinking about that with my child, me having a more uh, balanced scale of reactions to things, whatever, that everything don't need a 10 reaction, whatever. Even if you mean well in all situations, right. so, you know. But and one more thing, and being a parent, one thing I realized is no matter what, no matter what, no matter how good and no matter how bad of a parent you are, the children are like women, so to speak. At when things go wrong in their life, 
they gonna find a way to blame their parent. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> Wait, no, wait, no, wait. Just, you just said as a woman. <laughs> you yeah, y'all child is Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like women always blaming? You guys blame it. Just like he just said. <laughs> oh, 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 you're right, right, you real trigger right now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you real trigger. His parent. But you saying that we will blame who? <laughs> you said you you snuck in that woman. I heard that. But did you hear what he said? Did you hear woman? I heard he said when children they kind of more like women, and then and it's then, always so we, when things what unfold or something. So I feel like with women, when things go wrong, uh -huh. they try to blame. You can track it back. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a paper you can track it back. <laughs> To what? see a man in their life, be it their father, be it their not, not spouse, all. boyfriend, brother. So what do y'all do? Like, do you guys do it? Why do I have to always be a woman that it's a, But that's the cycle though. Thing. That man is still that man, so that man is is he the cause? So it's, at the end of the day the man was the cause. Exactly. He really was the cause. <laughs> and men and men have having mommy issues too though, You know, of course it's a funnier, bigger stereotype of woman with daddy issues. Parent. But niggas be having mommy well, issues. Of course. Too. So, you know, most of the time with, with men is a parent thing. And also, Uncle Drew, you know, to cut, you know, cut the women some rare bail, some rare <laughs> slack. You know, especially in my generation, it's a, it's a common thing to point out niggas real obvious and clearly who be having, who be scarred and jaded from like ninth grade heartbreaks. And it like derails all their relationships. And that exists. Serious or not, for the rest of their life and shit. Yeah, I think that you, exists. You 28, and that shit yeah. with you was 13. So I was like, so exists. you know, they blame women. Of course, like you said earlier, we don't, we aren't vocal for better or worse. Right. And we, our PR team ain't as good as women. <laughs> but, you know, like, we be blaming well, women the day, indirectly like, as well. They got the PR team. Yeah. They marketed off the chain. Yeah. Yeah. We don't got Olivia Pope's on our side. <laughs> we'll tell our closest friend our heartbreaks. Women? Oh my God. Yeah. They're going to shake the top. workers. Mm -hmm. uh, That's just those women, because I don't know those. I don't oh, know you don't know those girls. You don't know those guys. No, I don't know, because, no, everything ain't for everybody. Mm. The chick at the bar. I'm not, that's just not who I am. I'm more personal. I'm real, you know, I'm real personal. I'm real okay. personal. If I'm going through something. Mm -hmm. The chick making that whole game. Wow, wow. Man, Everybody like wow, wow. It'd be a line sometimes. They just get the chat. <laughs> but, you know, you know, what is love to y'all? And um, let me fuck it up. Oh, and so what is love? Sum it up in a brief statement or two. Mm. And what are some love lessons that you learned? Mm. Sheesh. Well, sorry. Where love, we go first? Love. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll start first. I'll start first. <laughs> love to <laughs> me. Like to say, like to say, dim the lights a little bit. <laughs> yeah. No, but love to me. It's splash, splash. But uh, so first, I'll say love. What I've learned from love is that no matter how much you love a person, it you um, that doesn't mean y'all are on the same page. I agree. We're talking and we're talking relationship, relationship love. love. I mean, no. If you got if you want to segue, if you got other meaning, yeah, you can do it one. But I'm at least on my meaning. You know, that's how that's why I roll with it. Like, no matter how much you love a person, no matter what the love means to you, that doesn't mean it's re it's reciprocated, it's equal, and you can't always expect it. Like, y'all, two individuals at the end of the day, you can think it's a union, a bond, all you want, whatever, but as a realistic, practical way of living life, a healthier way I look at it, True story. it's like, you just gotta, you gotta always keep in mind that y'all two different individuals. True story. And no matter what you do for that person, you can't yes. they be like, yo, bitch, I done brought the moon to your front door. <laughs> and she <laughs> like, yo, Man, don't sound like I just don't feel you like that no more. <laughs> you can't blame her like that. Yeah. Like, so that's it's hard, hard to accept that. It's hard to accept, of course, you but know, that, but it's very true. That's what I learned. And also, so, and what is love to me, I would say, shout out to Black. <laughs> I can't think of lyrics right now, but it's going to fuck me up. But listen to, if you listen to, listen to Black, that's six, lack, spell Black, take out the B, put it in six. Mm -hmm. Black, new album, East Atlanta Love, let a song called Sorry, third verse. Okay. <laughs> you got a line in there. Man, sounds like a Bible, dude. Bible, Bible, Bible scripture. Like All right, y'all, open up y'all scriptures. <laughs> <laughs> Leviticus. <laughs> Black with a six. <laughs> Revelations. Yo. No, but um, he, he got third verse. I can't think of a line, but it's something like, you know, when you love someone, you treat their heart like it's your own heart. Whatever. Mm -hmm. And I feel, you know, piggyback off that is like, you know, when you can doesn't mean that everything they go through you feels equal to you but it's like no like i care enough about their feelings and yeah. well-being that is like i'm going through i mm -hmm. hope they're equally i hope we good as a union 
That's what's me. That's, yeah, that's heavy. Yeah. Art. I see you arguing. Uh, that was a bad way to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like, I'm set the tone. Where am I going next? But, we'll, we'll follow it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you mentioned something important. Um, I guess like the, the empathy side of it. Because a lot of times you got to realize that you're reacting this way, but everybody doesn't think the way you think and everybody doesn't react it and hopefully you find somebody where it's like mm-hmm. y'all are more on the same wavelength so you don't have that many interferences mm-hmm. but um you gotta sometimes it's just like taking that step back and realizing i i could possibly be wrong let me look at it from both sides of the perspective so i think that was something important that you brought up and i can that. admit you know, you don't have to drop some bars there, some gentleness. <laughs> Put ladies out there. <laughs> no, but I can admit, I struggle with empathy. And not, you know, when I feel an intentional, selfish way, but it's like my brain just naturally takes in shit where it's like, I, I wouldn't trip on that. So why would you trip on that? And I do it both ways. So it's like, I wouldn't expect certain things. So why would you expect certain things? So that's just how, so a lot of times I'll be having to fight through. It's like, all right, I don't think it's a big deal. And it may not be a big deal in the grand scheme of life. Yeah. Yeah. But for whatever reason, this person thinks right. it's a big deal, so yeah, it's a big deal today. I agree, because people so, have know, different I, love languages. Like, you know. Shout out to love language. That is, that is true. Yeah. Episode love language. We got one of those here. So, mm-hmm. no, but, you know, take, talk about it real quick. You know, take a shot. You know, of course, well, yeah, you can talk to your money. Wait, uh, anything love has taught you? Um, It told me a lot of things. Unfortunately, I'm single right now. Mm. And uh, I've... unfortunate. I've... I've I haven't, had too ma- I haven't had too many, uh, too many relationships, but I do notice that after every relationship, I grow. Mm-hmm. How many relationships have you had? Serious relationships, serious. like, okay, like you know, you're not got my rule, like two, three. Okay, okay. Yeah. You know, you got two more. Yeah. Two, two more, more relationships until I find the one. Five for your whole life. Serious, oh, man. man. You can fuck it. You can fuck it. See, you think it's a lot. I'm giving people. Slack. Yeah, yeah. I know because if you think I know people consider things related to that weren't. So I'm, for, give, for, I'm giving you five. And you, you feel like three? you have five? No, I have. Yeah, I have. I think but that's good though if you can like find your, your one before you make it to the five. Like, yeah, that's a lot. I knew he was the one. I think one. men would think <laughs> they have. <laughs> <laughs> when he you fixed your car <laughs> and did a paper <laughs> and gave birth to a kid, like. Like delivered a baby, the first yeah, child. Like, <laughs> in the middle of like designing a house, and, you, know, like, you, you know Mike. Mike, Mike do everything. Yeah, he, 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 he does. He does. I knew he was the one when I met him, though. But it go from everything. It go from like emotional growth, uh, from like understand, like some of those empathy things, like taking myself out of myself and then put myself in somebody else's shoes and being like. Damn, maybe I, I did fuck up or that like that wasn't the right decision. So it's going it's going everything from there to just like one of my first serious girlfriends was like 19, 21. She worked at Bed Bath and Beyond. She put, yeah, yeah. She, she, she put me on the fucking um, 19, she put me, Chestnut Street. <laughs> I was like She was a uh, No, no, when I was like 19 or 19 oh, okay. we, we call it 20, it. Uh, 21. We call it. Uh, but she worked at Bed Bath and Beyond. She put me on the like Fucking comforters and fucking pillow tops and so duvets so, and shit. So she like, you something different. yeah. So it's like okay. it goes from. And I think Q mentioned that in a previous po- previous podcast about like Charlie women Dawson being a loyalist. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm tuned in every every week. Uh, but so um, you trying how, to give them some sponsorship or something? Uh, <laughs> and this was brought to you by week. Right on Q Live. <laughs> Why are you listening to Right on Q Live? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you said like how women kind of add structure to a guy's life or is like and that goes both ways ain't that yeah, what well like men I don't mean nothing. might that even be the skeleton <laughs> i don't mean nothing but, but the <laughs> women are the ways. flesh they give you that that like where you just want to chill on a saturday when oh you, hold on let me let me let's just let me get this back <laughs> <laughs> what i said right. over you was that of course the dude don't have to be a bump he could be yeah, yeah, shit yeah. moving. He could he could be responsive to that. But I feel just the way men operate, when women operate, if you introduce a woman to most men's life, she will add things to make him run shit more yeah, efficiently. I think, I, and I think we get less credit for that same thing. Just in different ways for women. Just different ways. I think we get less credit for women. I agree. Women will make a man run more efficiently. But I think we do the same thing and we educate women and expose them to different things that they wouldn't be exposed to mm-hmm. 
And I think we get less credit for that because we're taught from Lena, from your mom, to blow that woman up. Mm. Where a woman is not taught that. Mm. They're not taught that. Your mom didn't teach you to blow your man up. We're taught to. You don't know what my mom taught me. No, he do. He do. She said in general. I'm just saying. Y'all know what my mom is. I'm just saying. Females. In general. In general, females are taught to cater, to do what they exactly. That's how you. If, if Not you ever, verbally. Verbally too. Mm -hmm. Make see, sure he. It, listen. See, I'm gonna go on both sides. And where that's like, not that's that's dwindling. Oh yeah, that's, millennial that's, chicks ain't trying to they ain't trying to cater these days. That's, that's, that's that cater thing. Mm -hmm. I don't, who are them? That shit died in 94. I don't know them anymore. <laughs> that whole domestic that shit died when I was born. thing. Yeah, that's you. You the dying. You a last of a breed. Why you can't kill this? Why you can't? Yeah. <laughs> see, I'm, see, I feel you on. I, can, I, I feel I you on both it. ends because in the same time, it's like, all right, my previous relationship, my, she was the one that was like, yo, this is this event is happening. It's like because she knew some people and it's like, all right, this is about to have my or it's like, let's get up for a brunch. And it's like I just want to chill, but it's like, all right, you want you want to go to the brunch? Let's go to it. And I have a good time at the brunch and it's a good experience. Where I, where See, what I contributed, where, 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 yeah, but where, where I contributed but you, was, it's like, yo, we run, we run like, in the love on toilet food? paper, and it's like, huh? she, that shit oh, just know. like passes her. So? It's like, you don't, she, you don't really think so? No, I don't think the same way Ant will give that woman the credit for introducing him to that and and and, and participate in that. Women, let me ask you, would he, would she give you like, would you, would she give you the credit? Why are you personalizing that? I'm, I'm just asking. We're speaking generally. Well, we just Stop speaking in the mic. I'm not. I'm just. But I think that goes back. I, I think that goes. She will give okay, me credit, that's... and that's been a process. Okay. Well, maybe since and, you made it personal, yeah. But I'm yeah. just saying. What I'm saying is, and it, and I wasn't trying to offend you or anything. I'm just saying that you can't. If, if this is what you're receiving at home. You can't. I mean, you can speak in general. No, I'm speaking in general. Speaking generally. But that's just not everyone. But that's why it's general. But I'm, what I'm what I'm saying is you receiving it, so you you taking it as this is like you don't receive this, and men is this. No, but like, it could also be just observing the, the life. Yeah, but if life. I see I'm females, not, not, like but I, but I said, I, mean, I have yeah. seen I a lot of females. I don't know this girl. I do. <laughs> I do. I do. No, but I, I like it. I, you know, Uncle Drew can go a little far at times, but I actually do agree with him here. Like I do think naturally, but then I don't know. But, but I feel the most thing. good. Level-headed men may be conditioned in the sense to be like, yeah, like if I, if I, like, of course, like, I ain't piping up every girl, but <laughs> if this is my queen with. per se, yeah, I'm gonna gas her up more. And yeah. I think most in those situations, the men's probably gas her up more than the women do. You don't think naturally, a, do you instinctively, think women gas men up or uh, yes, compliment you guys. Course. Also, how about looking this way? I feel like we don't need it. Y'all yeah. typically See, need it, we and we don't gas up. That, like, look at this one. We get haircuts <laughs> every other week. I don't give a fuck if y'all really compliment us. Let y'all get your hair done and we just be like, whatever. Like, y'all kind of need the gas to function and shit and we like don't that. Not, <laughs> we don't need the fuel. Yeah. That's, that's uh, but I think it's true. But I think that's true. Stop it. I think that goes back to, I think that goes back to like what I was talking about earlier. Like men being the better yeah, animals and women being what? the better humans. Where it's like, like I said, my past relationship, I was like, Yo, we running low on toilet paper. Like, do you not even see that we running low on toilet paper? So I'm keeping inventory of the house. Like, right, cool shit. Yeah, it's like, we need paper towels. It's time for soap. Where it's like, that's functional. Like, so Everything you don't functional. you don't notice it maybe because it's more like, it's just there. Like, you reach over, it's toilet paper. Yeah, you don't have to make ain't do one practical thing in the front. <laughs> I'm been there like, I'm changing batteries, <laughs> like refilling <laughs> And air freshener shit, like, whatever. It's, like, what, it's just stuff, like if you go into a place and it's clean, you don't even think about it. Mm -hmm. But when you go into a place and it's dirty, yeah, it's, it's like, like it's, the the first, dollars. it's the first thing that you notice. Exactly. So it's like when I walk in my place and that shit be junky. Yeah, is that? <laughs> I clean the shit. She walk. Oh shit! Look, 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 look. Yeah. That's normal, darling. Exactly. Because you clean it. Because I'm the king. Moving on. Oh, real quick though, love lessons. Real quick, you know, it's gonna be a lot, but love. Just quick. Real quick. What's some love lessons that y'all talk that y'all learned? Compromise. That's, that's, mm. a, that's a lesson to learn in relationships. That's definitely a, 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 a compromise. Compromise is, is definitely a, a lesson. Yeah. Love lesson. Um, 
Yeah, I feel like one thing I've realized that most relationships, most loves, is just not going to be balanced. It's going to always be that person that loves more than the other person. Mm. And a lot of times that's just hard to accept, but okay. I, I'm, I'm, as I get older, I realize it's just more and more, just just the way it is. It's no, it's no 50-50, it's no, it's always going to be that person that's going to love harder, that's going to love more passionate. Is it different person. kind of styles of love, or a yeah, love is. language, or is it volume? You saying love more and love harder. What I mean is, Styles, that can just be emotional and, type. Yeah, thing. and passion. Just showing that love, whatever that love emotion. Would you is. say that's more though, or just showing it differently? No, more because okay. uh, you know because showing it differently is I don't know showing it. It's not showing it di di differently. It's always is because love is such an emotion. Where you know buying a gift can be shown. I agree. It's not you know. So yeah, it's people like might think if I, I support you or I take care of you, that's my me that's showing my you love. love. But that's There's not someone else. Maybe you know. Really love. That's. But maybe that's a that's love to them. Act. But you know, that's a love to, to them. them. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So but that's a love. Bitch, you saw it. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would see how it looks like. Me. <laughs> no, but all right, moving on. Um. So, the other, like, you know, think about this, like, you know, I'll be playing this shit weeks and months ahead, whatever. Right? Yeah, like, oh, years, years, like, you told me you you already, <laughs> you already got your album of the year <laughs> tweet nice. ready. That's true nice. story. Everybody, that's true story. Check out, check Somebody out this tweet. Hashtag the check true out story, it. too. Check hashtag out this Twitter. True, true story t-shirts. After I've been saying that for you, got soon, man. We won't, we won't get on that. Yeah. Um, I seen it. But so I thought this top, I, this would be, and I just randomly came, random memory came. Oh, this be good for y'all, but you know, cause y'all were cursed with kids. But <laughs> what kids? Y'all were cursed with kids. Cursed with, with kids. kids. But yeah. so I remember. I'm talking about Lena like that. <laughs> 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 and then, like I said a couple episodes ago, until I repay her with the pink mansion and the and the pink Mustang and a couple pink Birkins. I've been a curse. I, don't think, I haven't paid my debt yet, so no I'm just been no, a big ass no, bill. No return on investment. Yet. <laughs> no return at all. No but um, so I remember right. I used to have I used to have nightmares, and I remember I had this one vivid nightmare. It's a reoccurring shit mm -hmm. where Freddy Krueger would come in the crib. Everybody fucking dead, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I would run out the house and this and that, whatever. You had therapy for this. Uh, no. Not the good person. But that's, what, that's what we're doing right now. Oh, you're serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't care. Whatever, you know. Like, Continue, have night terrors. They get therapy for that, but go ahead. Stop bitching. So, <laughs> 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 I'm on the run. I'm on the run. I'm on the run. street, get hit by a car. Even more darker. <laughs> no, but so what would happen was I would wake up and I was always going in my room like, okay, I sleep on the floor. How old was this? I don't know, but it wasn't too old. I was young, whatever. But young enough to old enough to remember. But it was really, I, it really wasn't too old. But I remember she always be like strong black mom. All right, cool. Sleep on the bed, whatever. I mean, sleep on the uh, floor. It's okay. This and that, whatever. In her room. Wait, wait. In her room. What's safe about the floor or why the bed in her room? You know, kids lie. Oh, yeah. oh, on the floor of her room. In her room. Okay, all right. Yeah. But looking it's back safe. to it though, I'm like, that's annoying as fuck though. <laughs> like kids are anything. Like kids <laughs> mean a fucking way. I'm sure my step pop around was mad and shit. Like little nigga in here again. Like <laughs> bitching about some Freddy Cougar. Like it's a fucking movie. Like so. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> just, <laughs> say, I but I just think about like yo, kids do a lot of dumb annoying shit. What's but right? as the parent, you gotta just be like, yo, no, nah, it's enabling. I'm molding you for life. If I don't, if I don't treat this right, you can be fucked up forever. It's true. If I'm out there, like, yo, get your pussy ass back <laughs> in the bedroom. That would I'd be you. a totally different person today. That would describe so you as a person and as a parent. Yeah. yeah. So what do y'all think about just looking back on maybe some like annoying instances or something where you're like, yo, I had to deal with this delicately. Anything that strikes y'all? I, I thought about that the other day because I'm we walking in the crib and it's like. Some water bugs on the sidewalk, and my daughter's like bitching. I'm like, yo, I'm like, that's what a do girl. I? And, I, and I'm that's like, a girl. I'm like, what do I need to do to instill in her to like, yo, you're a human. They can't do shit to you. Like, why are you fucking scared? Like, so what do I? What What do I look say? Look at the mom. Look at the mom. Oh, <laughs> like, like, oh. like, like, do I? Do I? Do I? Do oh. I stomp on one? Right? Like. Look at that motherfucker. He can't do shit to you. Yeah, now, you, yeah, have, you know what? You can't come into the house until you kill four. It's like, 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 it's
I don't believe Damn, in these, got you forever. <laughs> I don't believe in these traditional gender roles. She, mm -hmm. as a woman, can do anything that I can okay, do. Okay, you right. Then you should have stepped on one. You should have stepped on one, right? Mm -hmm. Then you should have had her step on one. See, y'all killing them together. See, they had a lot of bugs. They was both stepping on bugs. Hey, yeah. Wait, no, 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 real sidewalk. Yo, you want to know a true story? Ant living in Southwest. My man living in Southwest. And every time I used to go to this crib, it was water bugs. Hey, I don't know what the fuck <laughs> going on in Southwest. But it would just be one. Yeah, Southwest is like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Southwest is like that. 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 Southwest Kids it's, 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 it's like, I was like trench level. Yeah, like, yeah. So I was just a trench. Level. But so <laughs> y'all got any like anything from any thoughts? Not for my boy. Bitch ass kid members. Oh, what me growing up? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Miss Hands like changed, changed, right. changed. Switch to growing up. Me growing up, um, I used to be scared out of the dark. And my mom, for some reason, you out, bro? No, listen, I did, I'm but I'm gonna tell you, no, I'm. I, no, My name is Kiri Mahal Howard. <laughs> 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 but it, it, it's different kind of darknesses though. Like it's the darkness where you can still see a hand in front of your face. It it it's dark, but dark, if it's that dark, country shit. darkness that where it's pitch black, that's that's what, yeah, that's I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. So what happened yeah. was my mom, this is weird, she said, Grace, um, I'm going to give you a, a fingernail clipper and you put it under your be, you better make your pillow and you'll feel safe. That's so true, yeah. I felt like I was. And they put a big daddy like invisible sunglasses on you. Glasses on. Put the glasses on. Put the glasses on. Everybody see. You can't believe anything. <laughs> no, but she pulled the first thing she saw in the medicine cabinet like a fingernail clipper. She had that in her hand. She had that in her hand. This magical. It was a little small teeny one with the big jaw. Baby, let me get this last nail, and then you got this magic jaw. That's why I always do my nails. They protect me from anything. So <laughs> yeah, I did. She did it, honestly, and I was good. As long as, she, like, long oh as I had it under there, because if I didn't, I was scared. But long as I had that fingernail clipper mm -hmm. under my mat, my pillow, I was great. That's strong like that. Mm -hmm. My thing was my son and getting hurt <laughs> playing sports, because I play ball. He's, play, he's playing ball. And every little, he, I feel like he's more injury prone than I was. I didn't get hurt playing ball, knock on wood. But... Yeah, it's, it's over. Yeah, yeah it's like this is. No, no, no. But you got like, trained this week? Yeah, I think I heard that from the dog. That bro, right side, he felt good. Put the seat in the trial for this. I might get back out there. I might get back out there. But you ain't even knock on the wood. You're not going to count. Like, no, that's what I know what happened. You got to do it. Yeah, it's just a question. But yeah, I always tell him, I'm always on him. And sometimes he's really hurt. And I'm like, yo, like, Stop bitching, like, come on. Yeah. Why he can't, why he can't? Yeah. A little, I mean, just yeah. a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. That's been bit. my growth, though. Okay. Just as a parent, just realizing, you know what? He really broke you know, his ankle. Just, <laughs> no, no, seriously. Seriously, <laughs> like, you know, it, it's, it's, I'm sorry, his I'm like, knee like, my bone is fucking sticking out. Shattered. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. right. I'm just, my bad, I told you to get back out there. <laughs> right. Right. But you know what's funny? You know, now y'all said that how I naturally I don't know I feel I feel men are could because women raises that way a lot of time and men as well but why, I, you know why, that, why 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 women raising this the men all right, all right no, <laughs> I digress <laughs> no, you know generally right the stereotype that men don't go to the doctors like you got to drag them to diet like our arm gotta be hanging off for us to go to the doctor or whatever like true story and I look at myself like it's a, like you know like I don't have time going to fucking doctors whatever mm, and I wonder is that because my mom. Mm. Condition me to be like, mm, stop bitching. But at the same time, man, I'm older. She'd be like, cute, like offensive. When I blow up my knee, whatever. I was like, you went like four years on the <laughs> fucking sport <laughs> ACL. No, like I, that shit was done. I just walked back to the room. I was like, I'm just nice on it. Like I'm See, straight. Uh, and then it, but the funny thing was, ironically, when she when I told her about, she's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Go to the emergency room. Exactly. But you know. No shade, mother. But maybe it didn't kick into you know kick in that I was that way because she raised me to be like, no shade ain't that deep. But that's how it is maybe when you when you as a parent getting older. Because I remember when I was younger, it was why are these lights on in this house? <laughs> Ain't nobody in this room. Why this TV on? Just aggravated. I, I go in my parents' house now. I'm like, what the fuck is all this electricity being used for? 
<laughs> Yo, y'all ain't been upstairs in three hours and your TV on. Yo, what the fuck is going on? Yo, I'd be mad as shit if she got. There's a whole breeze outside. Why the fuck is the central air on? Like, it's 66 degrees outside. Yo, but a moment. Shout out to Q for seeing the light. Mm. <laughs> like, oh, seeing the light. Leadership. No leadership. <laughs> I don't want no leadership. Right, it's your neck. You don't want no leadership. Yo, but no. shout out to Q for seeing the light as he progresses through his journey. Mm-hmm. On that note, another narrative that I'm you says a lot. That I'd be having to splash and work and do whatever. No, 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 no. I'm talking about great, 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 great still. Graceness. 22% through the shot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, whatever. Like, I don't know what. But, you know, another, another narrative that Uncle Drew has where I'll be really perplexed and confused and befuddled and puzzled. Mm-hmm. Where he I am puzzled. I am puzzled. <laughs> this is beyond me. <laughs> this is beyond me. <laughs> but, you know, anybody who knows it or especially listens to the show, you might, you know, we'll see what people say when they'll hear this, but. Uncle Jew Shout calls me a feminist at times. <laughs> he calls me a feminist. And I just lightweight, think like, lightweight. Lightweight feminist. Lightweight feminist. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I just think I'm just a balanced individual. I mean. I mean. <laughs> I mean. So I just want to throw it out there and see what some people are going to say. Shout out to the live hop and the screenshot. Tape. You know, let's see what people say. When you think of me, you think of me as a feminist. <laughs> so, I, think so it's a, oh, okay. I won't go feminist. I don't think I've ever said feminist. Thanks. I mean, but what I've what I've had uh, said is Well you said thank you. <laughs> September seventh. <7th. laughs> <laughs> Dang, you you writing days. Like time. She's twelve thirty. No that Monday when we Front desk. <laughs> talk about No. It. What I have said is he he can be he can be and it's just part of life, because you know, he's younger than myself, but it, he can be a bit, you know, Pro female, mm. <laughs> sometimes mm. when mm. Mm. it's not, it's so not warranted. Okay. <laughs> so. On that note, and I'm gonna bring this up at a later date, but I just had to bring it up because you know y'all here. Uh-huh. So LeBron James recently did another astounding mm. relationship thing with his queen. You know, he brought Shout Dane Caesar in the bro. living room. Had him singing a song or anniversary shit, whatever. Oh, wow. So naturally, he make it hard on everybody. Yeah. So naturally, <laughs> yeah, conversation open, and it, it somehow it ended up on saying like, one day, hopefully, the, oh, not one day, but hopefully one day he doesn't get caught in some scandal. And if he does, how much bail has he? How much credit has he built up mm. where women gonna hold him down? Mm. And because black. Women, Y'all so fickle when it comes to like they're like NFL owners. What have you? Done oh, whoo! That, that's your story. Y'all really are NFL owners. This thing <laughs> could have been the best king for thirty years, Don't matter. and he get head, he get one white mouth to slap him off, and it just wipes his whole life away. Like <laughs> what type of dead is that? So that ends up being like, oh, you know, he you can't. Know. Yo, he with can. that, that being with that being said, we end up being like, which would be the bigger blow? To Savannah and generally, you know, we're speaking hypothetically, and just to most women, if you were rich, famous husband, boom, boom. You find out your famous rich husband had a side baby, or 20 bitches came out the woodwork saying, yeah, I've been focused on nigga for like a few Which years. one is the biggest blow? Which y'all think would be the bigger blow? Everybody knows he has a side baby, or it's like no, a No, everybody know, yeah. Both went to the headlines. It's out in... T, um, what is it? TMZ. What's, TMZ. Yeah. Um, TMZ. Everybody. The twenty. Right? The twenty Jones. Think so? Because that baby. That baby is like. <laughs> See, it's, it's like it's like AIDS. Worse. It's like somebody got died. That's the only way this no, shit no, ended. It, like, which is worse? worse? Which is worse? But the baby forever. So which one? The is worse? worst is having a having a baby. Okay. Yeah, because that that's going to trail with you, and then you're permanently attached to that woman. Yeah. Even it's the like, rich people. We talk about oh, before we, talk we, about, before yeah, we get to the yeah, like that. Savannah. Before we get to yeah, the, no, like those twenty women is like, yo, that could have been three months ago. I'm done in with the her. public eye. I'm with you. We gonna get to you. Still though, still <laughs> though, a baby. Yeah, right. people. Forever. It's gonna be ten years from now. It's like okay, LeBron, LeBron James, youngest son, getting so old. It's like it's like it's like yo, that's. That's evidence that keeps evidence. growing. Exactly. It's yeah. like, like girls coming out. Yeah, like that dies. That, that dies. You're not you, you, talking about hearsay. Rumors die. Rumors die. A child literally got to die. Okay, like, so like because <laughs> he can't wait. To, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna preface this what you're saying. So at first I disagree with what he's about to say, and you know, because I was like, no, nah, twenty bitches is twenty bitches. Like that's a, that's a lot. I'm no. I said the baby is out of pocket because mm-hmm. that's a life. 
that's like mm-hmm. cause I think about you know reverse. Of course, it's different, but reverse. Like if I think I think if I think something's my kid and I find out that shit is my kid, bitch. Like, <laughs> so that's I could imagine that type of pain and get distracted. Like I can't imagine that. So I'm like, no, that's worse. Ain't nothing worse than another life created. Like it ain't mm-hmm. nothing worse than that. But after he says certain things, like, you know what? I think about people like Ludacris, Dwayne Wade. A lot of niggas who got True. side babies. Really? And we ain't hear about them baby really? since. Like, really? Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Tiger together. Woods, 20 plus bitches came forward. His marriage is done. Mm-hmm. The, the relationship is done. She hates him. He hates her. You know how hard it is for a woman to watch 20 chicks come across that screen over a period of time? Not just... 20 at one time. It was chicks coming out about you, Tiger Woods. Can you imagine your wife over going months. to somebody else's kid 10th birthday party? But this is the kid. As Gabrielle Union. <laughs> as Gabrielle Union. As Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right. As Ludacris. As... You don't even hear about them anymore. This is when you're rich, you make sure you make them you, disappear. That's how you make those females disappear. Eddie Murphy got eight kids. He don't you make them oh, disappear. You're talking about they side chicks though? Whatever. But you're saying... What's, what's worse? The side chick or the 20 chick? I mean, the side baby. The side baby. Side or baby or 20 chick? The 20 are we still hearing worse. about? Are we still hearing about the 20 chick? Tiger Woods' career is. is That's because it's back and shit. That, hey, look, if Tiger Woods was still Tiger Woods, nobody would be giving a fuck about that. No, but the point is his wife no was baby doing them. And he's saying that if you but switch. He lost his whole everything okay, because but, of those 20 chicks. D Wade, you don't even. He should have been cheating on his wife. Okay, well, I agree. We're we not talking about that. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah. So we're not talking words. about that. We're talking about the difference between twenty Mike sleeping with twenty women okay. coming across the screen over so a period, different. over a period, as opposed to that. And but we're talking about money. So and we're talking about away. money. Okay, you think those girls gonna go away? But that baby is forever. Not to you though. No, Ray Charles. That baby. Ray Charles. That baby gonna be changing your diapers when you eighty. No, not not that when you rich. That baby has to remind you. Julius These are kids that y'all didn't even y'all don't even remember. Name. When you rich, I'm rich. I am famous. Like twenty Jones, six of them might have been in the same night. Like it yeah, could have been yeah, a seven some. Like like I'm just like, talking about. Yo, like, I'm just talking about. Mean, like, that. I'm just talking about the level of embarrassment that a woman Anything goes through. embarrassing. I but totally you, but agree. Look. But let me finish. I'm talking about the level of, ba- of, a, of embarrassment that a woman goes through when it's a constant... Are you a woman? Let me finish. How would you know what she feels like when she's going through? Let me finish. Are you a woman? A, no, I'm not. But let me... Okay. The so level of embarrassment it. when it's a woman, 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 and that baby comes up, Gabrielle... Sends that mom a check. You don't know how Gabrielle truly feels. She has to keep still there. Okay, she Ray has- Charles. No, no, wife. no, 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 no Ray, you Ray you Charles. Say, wife. So right. like, you know what I'm. A, you know what I'm gonna say. You know what Ray <laughs> Charles sends, like, sends you, that you, woman. She was paying that okay, woman before he even what? knew. Okay, this is this is the thing. My point is the argument is which one is harder to get past. And yeah, baby. baby, I gotta look at that baby. That's literally a person you gotta get past. Yeah, that's like a, a that's not a reminder okay. of you cheating. On but look, just to take it to another right level, Jew, I'm not a woman. But the thing that I would think that a woman is thinking is, you went raw in this John. That and we're going, we're going with. twenty other and, and I didn't know right about there. it. No, you you could have you could have had protected sex with those <laughs> other twenty women. women right? You went raw in this joint that you and I didn't even know about it. And then you went raw in me the next day. It's like so. Let me like, ask you this. That's that's, sure that's what I would think is the worst thing. Is like so if a woman, so if aunt girl, mm-hmm. if aunt is with a girl, Ooh. and and <laughs> I mean her aunt, favorite son or aunt dollars, she, and aunt Don't dollars, aunt that. dollars is cheap. This Aunt Dollars is cheating on his girl, uh-huh. and he cheats with 20 women. Okay. Do you, in your head, when you seeing this on the screen, think, he must have wore a condom with every one of them women because they're not pregnant? No, I'm just looking at him like, dang, you really so And, that, and that's, a, that's a good segue. But Why? Not, hold on. Why do women put so much stake into baby moms? Yeah. 
Like, y'all be so, whether it's like, <laughs> damn, your baby mom ugly. That shit or like, damn, everything. you got a baby with her. That or holds damn, so like, much state. Yeah, baby mom. dude can get a chick pregnant but like, Yo. when he's 17 years old and she can be mm-hmm. busted. The, his next five joints could be dimes. <laughs> and or, they be like, but your baby mom busted. Yeah, but or it is like, fuck, or like, yo, you cheated on me. But you got the bitch pregnant? Yes, I understand our life was created, this and that. It's but bitch, I fucked a hundred other bitches. Like, they, <laughs> they just didn't get pregnant. Like, you can, like, but it's, it's just like, y'all think that, yo, like, it ain't like niggas, like, yo, but I'm I mean, the hood. Like, I ain't never met nobody who planned a baby in the hood. Like, that's like, they only planning babies. Nick, people make some decisions it. every day. You're right. Babies tend to be results of some of them. That's why I said you So it's like... like it's funny that one put those, so much stake in Those side like, bitches is not going to get a cut of your check every every two weeks. No, I'm saying <laughs> like, no, like, no, like I, that's, no. that's one like that baby literally yeah. takes money out no, of your pocket. I get it, for but the next women put years. so much stake in it. Like the like just because she had the baby means it meant more to you to the man. Oh yeah, I got. I understand bit, that. Yeah, it's like how many well, niggas are gonna fuck my damn baby mom? Like, like well, how many? That's it true. just happened. Like, that's true. It be dudes, some biology shit. It be dudes that have a the baby Big Bang mom Theory and shit. And they, re- and they marry a chick well, and be totally into be. her. And she be so caught up in into mom. that baby mom. I don't know. I don't know those females. Mm. I, I, I don't. Okay. Okay. I don't. How about this, right? Lena talking about the story with this girl, she, this lady she know. She was with, this is like no woman just crazy. So the dude was with the woman for like 10, 15 years, whatever. She couldn't have kids. He was totally fine with it. Like, all right, we can't have kids. We married. I love you. No big deal, whatever. They break up. Amicable split. No big deal, whatever. A year or two go past. She ended up adopting a baby. She asked him, or what? It might have been a mutual agreement. Yo, you want to be the father thing to the kid? We've been together so long. I'm going to be the father helping with the kid. But I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? All right, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, but, you know. I'm single, bitch. I heard fucking. I'm fucking. Fuck <laughs> he had to get a like joint pregnant. <laughs> His mom dimed him out because she was bringing the she was bringing the adopted baby over to the the ex son, mom in law, whatever and shit. And she's like, you know, but he was vibing with the adopted kid for a minute now, a few weeks, a months. She's like, you're not gonna tell her about something. He's like, all right, you're right, mom. First of all, she ain't loyal. Lena would never. But whatever. <laughs> so he was like, yeah. So what happened was, you know, I had a little situation, and you know, she she, she doing like a mom. <laughs> but so my, situation. my thing was I didn't understand why my mom and all the ladies in the clique were so mad. They like, how dare this dirty dog ass nigga get somebody pregnant? I'm like, yeah, like he's meant to get the John pregnant. Like he like is, but they put it's because they put so much stake in the baby yeah. mom. It's because women, y'all typically. Think about who you want to get impregnated by versus men who we think about who want to impregnate. Mm. Like most of most shit with us, mm. shit is be having. We end up with babies. Oh. Y'all been on this nigga's giving me a baby, oh. yeah, and y'all can't story. understand that it's flipped with us. True so story. and it's a false illusion. Fake illusions at the end of the day. I'm like, so, so I'm like, wait, I'm just told you. So he didn't cheat on you. He didn't cheat on her. With a side baby, mm-hmm. they just broke up, Fakely. and he was cool with her not having a kid, okay. and he just happened to get somebody she pregnant. Because I'm gonna tell you later. why she probably was hurt the fact that she probably couldn't have no children, yeah. and that's probably why she was I why it. I hurt her. They got nothing to do with me though. I, I get that, but that was just how it, you know that's how. And she then she, my mind never said out the grace for holding it down for the women. She tried, like she seriously, I'm she shout out, <laughs> like like you, you um, really. Oh yeah, you finding oh. every crevice. She like, searching. <laughs> But um, so back back to like you know, kid curses. Yeah. So um, <laughs> that's the name of this episode. Yeah, yo, but he have a ch- <laughs> listen. I don't care if it's a decade from now <laughs> when this wait. when oh. somebody pops up pregnant <laughs> and he's the dad. We all better. I'm, I'm oh, fucking tracking y'all down. It better not be a girl. It yeah. better not be a girl. I'm, I'm bringing so much down. big shit. Yes. The Q shit. Right yes. here. This no, thing, I want it to be a boy. So much. No, it gotta be. It's a girl. No. Because he don't make girls. I want it to be a boy. I don't make girls. I don't know why you're talking about girls. Like, you, I got tested. You, you, oh, now I want to be a girl. girl. I didn't know he didn't make girls. He said he's you all the time. Oh, shit. It's definitely going to be a girl. That's a rap. That's a, oh my god, I never like, heard that. You just, I didn't know that. You just machine gun some shit into the universe. Oh, yeah. you, just, you just killed yourself. First of all, this sun is the breeze. You just killed yourself. I got this. Your first three gonna be girls. <laughs> she wanna get <laughs> triplets. <laughs> yeah, true story. This is what I told y'all. So, first it's of all, be a I got tested when I was 14. 
Mm-hmm. I don't make girls. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> first and foremost. What the fuck does this? Second, is this? second <laughs> of all, second of all, if I happen to, by happenstance, Mm-hmm. Worst case scenario, end of the world. <laughs> right. I am legend. The Holocaust. Shit. Yeah, Holocaust. Yeah. Slavery got reinstated. <laughs> All <laughs> niggas died. Steelers. I'm the last man. Burn my daughter. Girl. I'm getting vasectomy. Like when the baby's <laughs> been born, oh I'm getting vasectomy. So like, no, ain't no, 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 no second. And fool also, fool me once. <laughs> exactly. And if it's triplets, I'm giving two away. So no, like, I'm like, yeah. like, I, I still win. You still win. I, I, I don't lose. Mm-hmm. I don't so lose. Why not? But I, I ain't the winner. Bro. I learned. Exactly. <laughs> Shout out to the Cardi and Chance. That's funny. Uh, so anyway, so back to kids real quick. Um, <laughs> one thing I've noticed, like you know, my generation versus like generations before us is like we aren't. You know, you talk about a lot as well. No like, generation crazy, but go ahead. The millennials. Shout out to the millennials. Shout out to millennials. Wait, 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 wait. I was just reading an article about how people are getting millennials confused with the next generation. Like, millennials right now are like 24 to 25 to 34, 35. No. You under 30 to born, you're a millennial too. Niggas yeah, thank you. 30. Thank you for no, clearing but, that up. But, no, if you but, under, if you, right but, now, if you under 30, you are fucking millennial. Man. No, but to me, there's a difference to a We don't care about the science. Under here, 18 no. right now, that's a totally different, that's what generation is that? that? That's generation they last. It? That's generation they, last. They, they last generation. It, if they haven't named it yet, that's a millennial. No, generation finale. Like, this is like a, this is the grand, this is the grand <laughs> exit of like the human civilization. And iPhone shit. X-Max. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> X-Max. Yeah. But, um, so, I feel like a lot of time we talk about how like, you know, Millennials and beyond, we're we're less content with For like tradition. passions and job tradition where that versus before, especially like you know not even y'all like grandparents and great grandparents they were like no like. I'm content with working a factory job for 60 years and like True story. my back breaking and like <laughs> retiring or whatever. Right. So we don't think about that. Like, you know, I remember one time me and Uncle Drew was talking, talking about how like, you know, my, my son wanted to rap, like you know, it, it couldn't be like a full like pursuit. It got to be like, you got to balance it. Like you, you can't just go full you know. flex. So what do y'all think about, you know, like working, how much, you know, the like the specific, the, um, Encouragement of working or pursuing passions and gifts per se and shit like that. So that's funny because I feel like when Ant was talking about his kids, I mean, we're talking about having a child and singular kid. Kid. (laughs) Fool me once. We're talking about (laughs) but being a parent. I feel like part of that, part of that whole um, doing things differently than we than our parents did. I think part of that is making your children think or even believe that they can do things bigger than what they think Mm -hmm. and i think that's part part of that like you you gotta make your children feel like they can just do things bigger think bigger Mm -hmm. we weren't made to think bigger or i wasn't made to think bigger Mm -hmm. you gotta make your children think bigger and not so much outside the box. It's mm-hmm. cool to think, you know, whatever is in your box, but just think you can make it bigger than it is. And I'm just shit to think long term. Mm. Um, social media, honestly, I think that the children, this, you know, nowadays, they have, um, I think it's, it's totally different than we, we right. have. You have outlets to a lot now. So we're in the Yo, same age group. I, I know. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just, just verifying. Just sometimes right. we are as we're talking. We're not. I'm just verifying. I'm okay. I'm 21. Four, four, four. Four, four, four. Um, <laughs> I just think that you you guys have more op- a lot of opportunity. Talk about I think, um, Since G might not drink, she's talking about. We can drink. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that... Also, like with the platform, the social media platform, you see a lot of children or a lot of young people. I'm not going to say children because they're, they're adults. Um, a lot of young adults. They have. Um, I see a lot of young adults having their own businesses. Like mm-hmm. I see a lot of it, even if it's just social on social media or anything. I I see a lot that you guys are doing, and I feel like you guys have worked hard compared to us. It wasn't given to us as much. A lot of people didn't push us mm-hmm. back in the day as much as you Very guys true. have. Very true. Um, athletically, to. too. Yeah, you I feel like those, the, the connections like athletically yeah. with kids now, because I'm just into that, it, it's crazy where 
It's kids that came up in my era that had the same talent, but because they didn't, because they didn't have the, the connections mm -hmm. that these kids that had, they had. Exactly. Oh Lord. Exactly. Yeah. Like you, you think like a lot of kids now they don't watch TV. They more so it's looking at happening. someone on social media. Um, you're, you're, they just oh, pushed your back. Oh, no, no, I, did, oh, I, did, yeah, yeah. I had to cut some of that off because right. that think, social media... No, I'm saying like, like YouTube. A lot of kids don't watch regular TV. They oh, like yeah, to YouTube, watch the YouTubers. Hey. They like, they do, a, it's, it's a lot. It's, social it's a lot media of is such a gift and encouragement. Mm -hmm. It's a lot I'm of outlets. I'm going to go into some of the... Real safety. You know, I read a lot of shit and articles and all types of shit. So, two things for me. One, back then, it was... A man could work a factory job and a wife couldn't work and they could still live. They could mm -hmm. still build for retirement, all types exist, of shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, like rates of inflation and shit like that, like you can't do it. Like a single income household is not really a thing anymore. Mm -hmm. So it was like, there's been that shift where it's like, it's almost, yes, we applaud that people are more accepting of women in the in the workforce and everything. But then also, there's also a need for the women in the workforce. It's like, yo, I can't take care of all these bills by myself. Like, because you want to live the lifestyle you want to live, yeah. and at least get a part time. But that's the thing. It's like even not even nah, like nah, some people nah, is I'll barely some might some, some people are barely <laughs> cutting it, and it's like they working double time. It's like I need this extra income. So it's like there's that that aspect of it where it's like back then they could work you know one job and take care of the family and retire but then there's the second side of it um i don't know chip 25 so. <laughs> but there's the second side of it too yeah, that's true whereas you do um, that was in my lifetime yeah. i get that shit from you know with y'all 1920 and shit like you know, <laughs> No, you're joking, but yeah, I do remember chips being less than 25 cents. But there's a second side of it where it's like, there's the economic side, but then there's the psychological side. Because I remember reading the article about the reasons that they made um, elementary schools boxy and neutral colors with fluorescent lights back in the you know 40s, 50s, 60s is because they were conditioning kids to be prepared for warehouse jobs, factory yeah, jobs. Mm -hmm. So it's like, when you, if you, I, I don't know if you, think about your elementary school. My elementary school was just box, it boxy, was. It was very black. It was very tan, black, black. and cream. That's true. Like not even white, like cream, like like a lazy ass white, That's like true. cream and shit. Like, and because it was like conditioning people to move from elementary school, middle school, high school, into the workforce. Into the workforce. And it's like you're being conditioned in all these things. So like I've read a lot of shit about how like it's not just um coincidence that some people go into these jobs and they're, you know, what's after what's after twelfth grade? Thirteenth grade, go to college. Like that's well, the only that's thing that's left. Like, I feel like black men and black boys and your reason, I feel like they're more conditioned, the millennials are more conditioned to do their own thing. I feel like they're more conditioned to start their, even if it's just a fucking t-shirt. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. These, yeah. they, they I feel are, like they're more conditioned here, than my generation. What We were conditioned, like you the said, to get a job. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Q and Younger, I feel like they're more conditioned yeah. to... Um, you know, start your art gallery, do your podcast, yes, you do right. your, um, you know, start your t-shirt, your t-shirts that it. turns into sweatshirts, that I turns heard. into sweat, sweat suits. I feel like they're more conditioned to do we that were kind of having stuff. candy stands or yep. yeah, we yep. were... We weren't conditioned to do... Only thing we were doing is you write to work because if you wanted we extra money, to work. you had to go collect to school, kids, get a degree, collect kids on the go weekend, to work. take them to the recycling center, Totally your money in. But that's, 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 that's just like totally the, the, the phrase possession is not attempts of the law. I never understood what that meant I until I realized if you don't own a business, if you don't own your home, if you don't own it, like anything, then you don't have no rights in the law. Say. Like you rent your house, say. your landlord want to sell that shit, yeah. you yeah. out. Like They changing that though. I, no, you know but, but that but that's the thing. They yeah, so this country is they built don't wanna on own. They don't wanna own. They don't wanna, they don't wanna be tied down. Yeah, they wanna be able to to, to to you know, 
um, least I, this. I feel. I feel we took it that logical. You know, there is something to be said about that logic, but we took it as like I'm gonna own myself. Mm-hmm. So whatever I'm passionate or building in myself, that's what I'm gonna build. Then I'm not that's going to be point. owning a car, just say, yeah. or a house that I don't even want to be but in then, forever. That's a good point because we was taught to own your house, own your car, yeah. own own this, own that. They are not. They they, they don't want like cute. It, you know, if it's mom and dad or whatever own the house and they had it in their family for years. They don't want that fucking house. No, they want to sell that house. Yeah, yeah, as soon right. as their parents go, oh, yeah, that's true. they are going to sell that, that house and split one. it amongst their siblings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They don't want where we, we couldn't wait to get that house. Right yeah. We couldn't wait to get that yeah. land. We couldn't wait. Dog, if I only had to pay taxes on the crib right now. What? Yeah. They don't Two thousand dollars a year? Like, <laughs> uh, I'm paying that in January. I'm they like, chilling. I could flip like, this. They like I could flip this and get right, this condo right. I wanted. I, 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 I could lease this condo in Tennessee. Shout out to the younger yeah. y'all getting Y'all, y'all got it. Yeah. Um, moving on real quick. Um, so I mean, no, on the same token, real quick. So like they're being saying, you know, you're speaking more so towards the kids and towards your kids, and millennials, shit like that, whatever. Y'all selves though. So let's say money was an option starting right now. Mm. You know, generally speaking. What would y'all do? Passion, passionately speaking, creatively speaking, Already whatever. That's what I got. Because well, it's, it's, it's easier to speak down, not down per se, but like, no, kids, kids, but no, but yourselves. I feel a lot of times it's a little harder for people Absolutely. of privilege generation to be like, Absolutely. Myself. Oh, uh, I never considered myself. All right. So yeah. what y'all think? I think I would put my business at I got in the play first. Like you know, I, I think I would work if it was if I had the money, the means. Mm-hmm. I mean, I still can do it, and I still been working on it. But I think I money not an option at all. Though. Money not an option. At I think all. myself. I I also I I work on it. No, but just is it anything? You be like, yo, like this is what I've been wanting to do. Passionately, so I it's w- just me, yeah. my just <laughs> passionately. I would want to travel. I would want to travel. I play the saxophone. I never played the sax in my life. But that's one of my favorite yeah, instruments. So it's like always the like, I'm trying to be. Trying to get you. No, I'm yeah. trying to be. That inspired me. Shadow. Yo, I'm trying to be Wesley. <laughs> Yo, Mo better inspired me to put the basketball down. You trying to play the saxophone? True story. Hey, ladies. Play the sax ladies. and travel mm-hmm. and travel the world. Playing the sax. Mm-hmm. That would be okay. it. I think, well, okay, so me singing and still okay, just, see. Okay. yeah. Wait a minute, you said singing like, like, like songs? I'm, yeah, like, I'm, I'm a singer and I'm a writer. It's oh. okay. Uh, wait, like, I ain't never heard about this exactly. before. She changed the money to the hop. She's like, wait, hey, okay. What? What's happening? I need mean, a verse. You a stripper, yeah. free? Yeah. <laughs> drop, drop that beat, plug. <laughs> well, uh, how about you, man, Dobbs? I'll be doing what I'm already doing. Like, I've turned, in, in my crib, I have a... Uh, a full mu well not a full music studio but a music studio and an art studio mainly because i'm paying so much rent i'm like nigga i'm using all these square footage like it's like like what <laughs> like every time i give over my rent i'm like let me go do something in this other area of the house <laughs> so it's like i would just focus more on that because i would i would flesh out my my equipment and everything and focus on that because my biggest thing was I went to school for like pre med biology, and I really That's couldn't, and I really couldn't finish that because of the money. Like it got too expensive, and it was just this one semester where I didn't have the money, and like that just fucked up everything. Where fucking LaSalle, y'all still hold my transcripts? I'm fucking ransom. I need my shit. <laughs> but anyway, I'm threat on the yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, so like like. Pre-med bio was my shit because money, and but then money got in the way and I really got into my art shit that I always loved. But to me, again, with this new age, like internet, SoundCloud, yeah. like all types of shit, like where, like where music is more of a, th- like I thought you had to be the brother of an yeah. A&R no. and mm-hmm. fuck, at fucking Shout Atlantic when I was younger. You like, said. Shout out to everything you just said. Shout out to It's like, so I, I didn't think people became musicians. I didn't even look at music as a thing when I was younger. But now that I've kind of, the money is in a way of the science. The vehicles are so like right art is always in the heart. So I will focus more on my art shit and like art, just flesh art. out my studios and like. Art, art. 
So let me ask you, you you basically asked for if, besides the kids, like, putting yourself first. Mm -hmm. But I think you still could put yourself first even though you have children. Yeah, of course. But I'm just saying just... You can still Different work question. Yeah. Work. Yeah. Um, yeah, when I know it's funny, you know, like. Well, no, let me backtrack. Okay. Right. You should yeah, put your children first. I'm just saying, you can still be patient about should what you. put your children first? No, fuck them. No. No, <laughs> not fuck them, but it's like they say on the plane, like, you gotta put your own oxygen mask on no, before, you, human before human you put their oxygen saying, mask on. It's like, I'm if your shit ain't right, you probably just boy passing boy on wrong shit to them. What I'm saying is. You still can take care of yourself Absolutely. as well as you taking care of your household and your family and your children. You should not forget yeah. about yourself. Yeah, no. Sometimes, order, order you know, we can. But yeah. we, that is true. Still keep and I think, and I think, if you forget about yourself, because, you're not you cook, your best when you in cook. that situation. Exactly. Because when you cook, yes, when I cook, you cook and like, yes. yeah, you know, Thanksgiving. You, know, you, you cook the corn for real. Yeah. <laughs> he, um, he is you with the rotisseries. <laughs> 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 uh, the rotisseries. <laughs> the rotisseries <laughs> on them. This is a real quick topic. Let me super fast. Okay. But it's gonna be super fast. Super fast. Y'all be picking up change and y'all drive it. Me and Uncle Joe talk about that one. Yeah. So if somebody hands you change, if somebody hands you change, and you hold on, y'all out of pocket because y'all are all independently rich. And you, I picks up a fucking penny. He grab the mic. He's like, look, she, if she, listen, if Grace drops a fucking penny right now, I am picking that shit up. Listen, y'all out of pocket. The fact, the fact that y'all yo, I'm gonna tell you how fake rich I am. I, uh. I went to Wawa, like, we go, whatever. I bought whatever. Dude gave me the, whatever it changed was, it was no quarters. It was just all dimes and pennies. I put right in the, uh, the charity joint. Like, right <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. All right, that's but cool. But also, but, if I would have dropped it, I would love it. <laughs> I'm not picking up nothing that's not a quarter. <laughs> I get money. So, <laughs> not even the silver is like, change? just I'm only glad y'all up. I'm, glad glad you you I'm not up like that. I'm glad y'all up. Would you say change? I'm not up. I'm glad y'all. What would you mean take change? Like if somebody giving you dollar bills and paying with change, would y'all take change? I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm judging you, but I'm, I'm taking not. it though. Just, Just asking. Hey, why are you at four quarters? He's like, I don't, I don't work in retail. Me, I, was, I was like, I'm not taking yeah, nobody's yo, change. Yo, Give me ten dollars. Yo, last quarter. I'm like, Tom, look, you better take this motherfucking change to the to the ledger, yeah. man. <laughs> I'm like, Tom, look. See, my thing is, shout out to Wayne Robert. Shout out to Millie was listening. Oh, it's Tom, look, right? So. Wait. <laughs> 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 My bad. You're so right, baby. Like, he's he's like, like, baby boy. Oh, yeah. He's playing the baby boy. boy. He said tone low. My bad. No, like. <laughs> my bad. I dated myself. My bad. My bad. Yo, my thing is, so one time I went to go cash in my little change jar joint because I don't just have a little 20 ounce. So, like, you got the gallon joint. No, I got the Hawaiian punch. Like, Oh, that yeah, shit, you up, up. Like, yeah, like, you I don't even drink a wire punch, but I grabbed that joint from yeah, a Yeah, money, punch money. Like, yeah. yo, it was almost $400 at a change yard. Yeah. If it's a wire like, punch? No, yeah, yeah. Like, like, the water jar from the water yeah, No, I got yeah, that's, that's, what I got. We, we, that's what I got. That's what I got. But it's a lot of dimes and nickels in between the parts. I don't catch that. My only point was if I drop it. Look, I'm not picking it up. Why? I get No. No. No, but like... Yo, I was going to talk about But you know what part of the reasons is? I, I, no lie. If I, 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 ain't no quarters. Ain't no quarters. Look, if I'm walking down the street and I see a dime, you are and look, you are look, it got to be a shiny. I'm not picking up some dime that look like it just came off a nigga's shoe or some shit. Like, But if I see a dime, I'm going to pick it up because for me, I'm not picking up some dime that look like it just came off a nigga's shoe. But if I see a dime, I'm going to pick it up because for me, it's a sign of appreciation. It's a, it's For the a, universe. Yo, yeah, exactly. I'm a big universe guy. Like, fucking, it's a sign of appreciation, like, the little things. I appreciate the little things, and that little thing will lead to a big thing. Like, look, I'd rather get 3,000 dimes than $1. And it's like, I'd rather show that appreciation for, for that dime. Okay. And keep it moving. And, it, and it's going to, it's going to contribute to my four hundred dollar. I mean, y'all uh, broke those. <laughs> y'all broke those. Y'all broke those. I'm not even that. talking to y'all broke those. Because <laughs> I don't pick up no change. It's like that that's gift. I don't give you like. Deal. Is this I a dollar? Every chill. What president is this on this like, bill? Like, I ain't seen a hundred. What is this shit? But um, how about this one? Um, 
Sister Soja not here, but we're gonna, we gonna speak in her honor and her spirit. Holy shit. <laughs> One thing that she says that irritates the fuck out of me is that, you know, besides she hate white people, of course. No, besides <laughs> that, she says that, you know, when I was like, the boom, people break up every day. Relate, most relationships don't fucking last. And that's okay. That's the way of life. Whatever. But for some reason, with people like Sister Soja and all the shave room commenter cultures, it's like <laughs> once a successful black man break up, it's like he left his oh queen, my God. his day one queen for the white <laughs> bitch. This is his light skinned Kardashian bitch. I just be like, I mean, how about they just broke up yeah. and he happened to be fucking multiple? Or oh, let's say he did cheat yeah. on her. Yeah. He was, that wasn't the only one he was cheating on her with. Like, Kevin Hart wasn't the... Sh- like, let's say he was she on Tory Hart. Mm. Nike, as his soldiers called her, Nike wasn't the only chick he was cheating on his wife with. He, he had <laughs> fucked many bitches, and Nike's the one that stuck. Like, <laughs> she made something special or whatever. So I don't like that. A lot of people, they judge a lot of famous, successful black men for leaving their day ones. When, like, bitch, are you with your day one from high school? Yeah, dude, so I was like, what? What? That's a that's something that's like an unrealistic expectation to be like, like, look, again, back to LeBron. If LeBron break with Savannah today, he would get no credit for being with her up until this point, though. That's a good yeah. point. Like, I was with he you. He wouldn't get any credit. Like, yeah. it's, he, they would have 15 would know years. He, he, left, he left Savannah. They oh got, my God, he left Savannah. Yeah. But I do give him right now all the credit in the world. For being with Savannah because and real quick, even with the the greatest black man of all the time, Savannah, Obama, which is LeBron and yo, Obama. I was just about oh, to say LeBron, 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 LeBron is the LeBron Obama, Obama, Obama of sports. I mean, no, LeBron like, is the millennial he's, Obama. He's had a scandalous but, like, and he had the most oh, wait, pressure. <laughs> you funny like LeBron has been around longer than Obama, so it's like <laughs> Obama, Obama is the LeBron of politics. Look at what LeBron, uh, Obama, right? This nigga was the first black president <laughs> two terms, no <laughs> scandal. But if he get caught today. No, wait, 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 man. No scandal? Yeah. Don't forget about that tan suit. Right, the tan suit. <laughs> he was born in Hawaii, right? Shout out to Trump. But yeah. if he, but this is, what, this is a funny thing. We would defend Obama this whole time. Fuck Trump, fuck all y'all, da da da. But if he fuck a light skinned bitch, not even a white girl, a light skinned shit. It'll be a rat. It would, all that shit wouldn't matter. It's like, yeah. dog ass nigga. Not yeah. like, bro. It'll be a rat. That's how you feel. Yeah. So I think that's kind of weird. Be a rat. Nigga, y'all help really here. fucked up because. <laughs> They put in so much work over the decades of just being with their woman. And not saying it's not expected. It is, it is expected. LeBron and, um, and, and, and Barack. But I agree with you. It, it would be totally erased if they got caught in any type of scandal right now. Well, that's the thing. If you're saying scandal, though, is it just like, hey, you know what? We realized it's the we were high though. school sweethearts. We had, we've done a lot of growing since then. You ain't shit. And we're not, not the same shit. people. We're not on the same yeah. path. And that's one thing. But if it's like you're saying scandal, like somebody scandal, cheated like, on somebody, or like, look then it. I can see where, like, nah, man. yo, it don't matter. Yeah. Like, either, oh, let's say it is a scandal, right? To me, so the fuck what, yo? <laughs> I, I, y'all ain't got shit on me for 20 years. Yeah. And you on my, y'all on my back about one scandal. Bitch, I was president. <laughs> like, I, I ain't getting no credit. I was the first black president of all time. Like, if a nigga ain't missed a bill paper his whole life, he missed one bill paper, they ain't gonna trip for the most part. Oh, yeah. Like, they gonna like, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't really understand how credit can be gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. like, yeah. It's like, like they, 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 they not gonna send you to the IRS, though. Oh, yeah. Like, at the first <laughs> missed payment after right. a few days. Right. Like, right. black, you know, a lot of these black women in the shade room and boss of culture, nigga, get you out. You the fuck out of here. Like, they even not like Jay Z was a regular nigga. How dare he do at the Beyonce? Who Man, this nigga think he is? That was uh, bullshit, Jay Z, <laughs> <laughs> <That was, laughs> the greatest rapper ever lived. <laughs> that was some Beyonce shit. Of course, bro. I'm saying though, no. so they quick fake allegiance. Shout out to fake allegiance. Fake allegiance. Right. <laughs> Wait, if it was the other oh, way yeah. around, we wouldn't go for it. Young If Beyonce cheated on Jay Z, we'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. Exactly. We're not gonna be like. Wait, as the fans or Jay Z. We exactly. not going to rally you know, Jay-Z behind Jay-Z, Jay-Z, Jay-Z like no, that. We not going to threaten the boy that Jay-Z, that, that Beyonce fucking with. We not going to threaten yeah, like, We life. don't care. Y'all, women have too much energy. Like, like, y'all care about you women. Can't the energy. Energy. Like, I got the energy for all types of shit. Like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> why is so out there? Oh, yeah. real quick. I forgot about this one. This one on the list. So, we talk about this at work though, right? So, 
Uh, where did it start from? Oh, I don't fucking remember. But shout out to the crowd for the inspiration. But so, oh, the podcast. So boom. So some random ass black angry Twitter bitch on whatever. She was mad that some dumb ass white clueless bitches on a podcast was talking, but they were, you know, whether joking or not. They were talking about how they basically fetishized black men. Like, yeah, I want to speak like this. Mm-hmm. You know, when he's from the hood. Yeah, yeah boom, 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 boom. Now, you know right, what black men talk like. Yeah, you know, they from yeah, the hood. Yeah, yeah. He look real athletic. Like, he could dunk a basketball. Let y'all talk about Okay. So, so, you know, my whole thing was like, all right, yes, clearly these bitches are clueless. And I personally would never cuff them. And if I saw a nigga I knew that cuffed them, I would judge you. Because clearly these bitches don't, they don't give a fuck about you for a real. They look at you as a prop. They have no connection or, or anything to the black culture, black experience, or why would you cuff them? But as far as me sticking my dick in them, like, hey. just for a night, I don't really see the big deal. But that didn't stop black women on Twitter from being like, you know, how dare, because you know, black women want to outrage, yo, these white bitches always using our black men kings. Shout, shout out to them for looking at this king sometimes. But they like, shout out to them using that some special, da da da. And a lot of black men respond saying, like, <laughs> we don't care. Like, it's just ain't that deep. Like, cause for one, we look at white girls as fetishes. We fetishize white women plenty of time. Like, yo, like, oh, yeah. Becky, white mouth. I say Sean. Look, time. we got shit like, to take back from Emmett too. Exactly. Like, yeah, hell yeah. Like, it's like, look, you you lied about that shit. Like, like I gotta go win. Every black man <laughs> wants at least some white mouth <laughs> one time <laughs> in his life. Shout out to G Money mm-hmm. with the with the with the Black Kings. They all want white mouth at least once in their life. And it's whatever. Reparations. <laughs> so it's like, it's, you say what, reparations. That's a fetish, though. It's no big deal. Mm-hmm. So, me, if I heard, fam, it was a badass word. Let's say it's like Ann Hathaway or Scarlett Johansson, you know, whatever. And I hear her saying some dumbass, stupid, retarded, ignorant shit. And then she turned around and be like, oh my God. Like, what's your name? I'm like, <laughs> and she, I'm like, QS. That's real ethnic. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Where are you from? Like, I think it's the funniest you word ever. I'll be like, oh, you, need, you know, I got shot a few times. <laughs> I ain't graduated seventh grade. You know what? If you mean, <laughs> oh, oh, I, wait, I didn't know you can graduate seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> and who me play this dumb nigga role? Like, I'm, like, I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking, people. Yeah. But the point is, bitch, if you look at me as a big ass walking dick, that's cool. I look at you as a big ass wet mouth. So it's like it's, we are finished both ways. And I don't take it personally, but black women, you know, they weaponized it and make it a big deal. We get mad. We don't give a fuck. Why stand up for y'all? Huh? Because they stand up for you. No, don't take don't take up your us getting young pussy. Why? Like, like and that, and that's what it is, right? You don't need it. And that's why don't and that's why this fight. Women typically are <laughs> fighting people off from their pussy. <laughs> Y'all fighting niggas off the pussy. Like, no, Meanwhile, like, we good with that. We, we like, yo, and she throwing it. Like, <laughs> I'm real? with the shit for the most part. Like, this is the thought of men, right? Here. That's the thought. This like, is thought, we can we can separate our dick from like our brain. Like, so it was like we're not gonna cuff that chick, but exactly. we're sure to cool with her thinking like that. Yeah. Like, I right, can fuck you, boy, and like, yeah, not, right. I'm can, glad you like black. I man. can fuck you and not fuck with you. Yeah. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Think about it. But that's just like what I was was saying. What I was saying before, how it's like <laughs> women are much more used to guys being all over them, you know, like all, so. As a man, that's not usual to us. So like, even yeah, even so even good. if it's like fetishizing and like it's an over exaggeration of what I well, should be as a black well. man, it's like I do appreciate the fact that you find me sexy and you well. want me, and because as a man, I still want to be wanted too. Like well. I'm not. I'm, you that whole women, that whole women finding me sure. sexy thing. No, I'm not saying that black men that don't. Sh- I mean, black women don't show us that. But I'm saying, Just like, but if you're saying, I women. want you, you black man. Give me some of that fucking see, Zulu dick. Give and me I'm like, <laughs> see, that's and I'm like, ooh, I'm on my way, like, well, ooh, <laughs> give me that big dick. Like, like, the thing is, forever, like, I mean, the thing is, and I'm, I'm tired of that. Like, what? I'm tired of being treated like a tool. Like, you know, like, that's, that's <laughs> like, right like that's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm over that. Look, like, I'm, I'm over you that. You understand that you more than a piece of meat. Like, I understand that. I'm tired, that I'm tired of like, white women, Hispanic women. I do a conversation. Asian women. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to talk. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're like, why are you still black? I want to see how your day is. Yeah, yeah. like, I'm, I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> Yeah. Like, why ain't got shiki still on? Like, right. like, come on. This is the thought of men. Like, 
<laughs> yo, but that's how it is, though. It's like, yo, if a, if a white woman was, like, overly, like, I want to be with the black man, it's like, yeah. Let me make sure I make that experience good. Yeah, for you. Like, like, that, that, that I, feel, I feel like, like I gotta represent. Like, like, like I gotta. But what y'all talking about is yeah, shout love, to is the love. love. Love is love. I'm just whoever you love, whoever you love. You love. I ain't it. talking about love. Shout out to the black queens that want to defend us when real shit's going on. But <laughs> dumbass uh-huh. white clothes bitches throwing pussy at us. That's not what it's needed. Like, but just, I'm just saying. Just, I'm just speaking. We were over here cyborg. I'm just saying. I just feel like people could just love whoever they love. But what you were just saying, yeah, that's a little. That's over the top. Because even oh, how these females, if this is the way. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, yeah. Because, because even about, what Q was like, saying, what he's referencing that podcast with them two white Johns and all yeah, that. I, it's like I, as they were saying it. I'm super offended. Like, what the fuck are you saying? Like, you I know how black you. guys Sorry. talk, and it's like, you know, he's not, a, he's not black enough. It's like I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? But at the same time, I'm also See, I like, feel like people talk like that. I'm, I'm out at the club. I'm having a couple of drinks. I'm not gonna not if you bad. Like, I'm not gonna not yeah. see where this you goes taken down. for the night. Obviously, I'm not wifing you because you gonna feel some way about our kids. And hopefully, but I'm not like, too far gone that I impregnate you. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know your And then that's when women would be like, "Oh, so that's so you got the best." Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. And it's you full circle. Sure, you down you know. with the swirl, huh? Yeah. You, it's like nah, like I'm just trying to smash. Like, I, I, I actually don't remember the night, but yeah. the maternity test came back positive. I don't fucking know what. Yeah, most like, of the time, you just trying to smash. Yeah, yeah. Um, real quick, also as well, do y'all, um, are, is housewife an overrated thing? Housewife? It don't exist. It does it still, it still exist? Overrated as in yeah. the a men looking at the housewife or the housewife? Housewife. No, he's saying the concept of a housewife. Like a woman. No it's no housewife. What do you mean overrated from a woman's perspective or a man's perspective? Because I look at it this way, right? If, I, if. I was a woman, right? And I didn't have to work. And my only duties were keeping the crib clean, cooking. Be awesome. Seemed like a pretty good deal. Like, <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. But, you know, know women be like, like, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. I'd be like, I mean, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Gina, speaking of that, Mm-mm. 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 M
I don't understand what the fuck the problem was. Mm. Because if the rose was flipped, it's a lot of work. Just a lot of work. I would take care of the kids, cook, <laughs> clean, okay, and you go to work every day? <laughs> oh my god! No, wait, I'm gonna tell you what? That's gonna be a breeze! <laughs> This is going to be a great I'm puzzled. Y'all letting the kids get out. I'm puzzled. This nigga about to start learning how to sew his own clothes and shit. Like, no. I got free time. Not it's like, yo, I'm making it. I'm going to work at 10 a.m. The way y'all right. complain, the way no. women, not y'all, no, the way I, women complain over the decades, oh, he owed me because I took care of the kid. You, what? <laughs> I do that shit in my sleep. I do that shit in my sleep. I had to go to Target and spend the money he made. Talk heavy. Talk heavy. That's exactly what you're doing. Sleep. All right, rep your set, queen. That's what you're doing. You're actually sleep. So you're really not taking care of the kids because the kids doing whatever while you sleep. And, and, okay, and I'm not jumping every time. See? Uh-oh. Every time what? Uh-oh. I'm Every time Troopy. Troopy and Ant say the troops, I'm, yeah. Every time your squad say I'm, 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 mom, I'm late for school. Okay. Sean Black moms. For real? Sean Black moms. They, they, for they get in their bed. They get in their bed. <laughs> That's a superhero complex. That's a superhero complex. Look, yeah. black moms is next level moms. Like, black moms are the best moms. The Ubers. And I don't, I don't give a fuck back. with nobody. Yes, we are. Look, I'm back. shout out to this little top of my head. Shout out to the strong. I didn't know this was a thing. Shout out to the strong black moms that take off the first day of school. Yes. yes. I'm yes. like, yes. damn, yes. both y'all niggas had off tonight. My like, mom. We got shit to do at work. My mom ain't took off. <laughs> Who's our day at school? I'm not saying guys out there because uh, now you guys want to come for women, but we do a, we do a lot. And wait. this is well as going back of being a housewife. It's not just we sitting home. You still wait, have to what take you do care. At, you what you do after you, you drop them off though? <laughs> First day at school, you drop them off. You, you work. <laughs> you work. We talking about. I'm just saying. Work. Oh yeah, you got okay. a full time job. I got like, a full time job. We talking about people that like don't, don't work. Listen, like it's at probably all. moms out here that's taking these you children. You work a part time job, so oh, okay. so when you work part time, taking care of kids is like, another you job. Tell, you can. You tell I'm not rude. They not they, at the house for seven hours of the I'm day. Just, <laughs> they might not be, but you. Yo, know, I could imagine having no pressure. You tell Dawn when you want to work, so that that works for you. You know what I mean? So I'm saying, you work your part time. You work the block. You work the block. Wait, 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 Mike, 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 Mike would never. Make her work if she had to work. Need no dawn. You know, need no dawn. Be holding that money. You know, G money. G money. G money. G money. Come through the corner whenever she wants. Well, I, like, you know, I can't imagine yeah. as a as a true housewife having no pressure of money or bills. Or what? Anything. And all I gotta do is wash clothes, clean the crib, and take clothes. And, and, and the kids. And the true housewife. Yeah. 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 Y
housewife is the I'm hardest just job. My and truth. And we just and doing this. I read person. a to that point. I read a, I read a post. Right, I, I read a post from Monica. And she shouted out. Shout out the new girl. Shout out the niche and scab. She loved Monica for some reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She shouted out. Um, um, uh, she shouted out Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. Oh, okay. And she was talking about the Bobby Brown story. And her wording was so crazy. And I appreciate it. She said, finally, Bobby Brown gets to tell his truth. And I thought that was so relevant because you always hear the females or whatever whatever i know we talk about it you always hear the females and you always hear their truth and whatever whatever she didn't say she didn't say you get to hear the truth his truth she said you That's get to hear bobby earlier, brown Yo, but that, that is a big thing because you always hear about bobby brown like he's the one that was on that crack story like, was all and like person. Whitney that's and Whitney, a whole other episode. Whitney and Whitney that's a whole other episode. Watch it yet. But it's, it that's really was episode. like they were a tandem, and it's bro. like yo, that's a whole she was episode. into some shit too. Bobby right. Brown really but, got it. But she gave us, I will always love you. And it's like we, more stories like G Money. It's three sides to every story. The man's, the woman's, and that's true story. And on that note, did you guys enjoy us all this stuff? Absolutely. Good. Yes. Y'all come back in. No, be we good. No, like no controversy and. Yeah. It wasn't controversy. You know, we good. <laughs> I'm always we good. I'm always here. Y'all gonna sign a release for us, so we can release the video <laughs> and the picture on this shit. We, we good. good. We good. All right, good. Shout out to Right on Q Live. Appreciate it. Always a good and time. And shout out to the blog. Shout out to the Carter. Shout out to Nino Dawn. Shout yeah. out to Jesus. And I cut all my shout outs down this. this he did. He did. I don't think. <laughs> oh my wait God. Yo, wait till you listen to this. No, wait till you listen back. All right. Wait till no. you listen to this. I consciously. No, it is a big difference though. Uh, but it's like four. Like four less. Like, like, last time like, it was four, four for five minutes. minutes. <laughs> but let's. Ryan Kilo, talk about it. We out. Shout out to Crown for inspiration. No Gee. doubt.